Good morning, Cyber Traders, and welcome back on the Wednesday of November 29th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Andrea. Gene, good to see you. Good morning, all of you. All right, Ed, everybody. Okay, good, good, good. Well, what a great, great pre market so far, guys. How exciting is it to trade TNXP? It was just literally, um, I, you know, sometimes I say this, and I'm not trying to like, you know, pat myself on the back, but sometimes I, I, I shock myself. I mean, we were here this morning. You saw that we had the watch list out there. And uh, I'm just going to bring over the chat really quick because some people here probably missed it. Let me just scroll up over here. So anyway, we started this morning around 8 o'clock this morning. And if you look right here, you can see some people already logged in. But the watch list was the ANF. The TNXP and the box, and I posted this up at 8.05, okay? So far, we had a nice little push at 8.08, 8.08. How funny how they all move at 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, you could see people chatting away, but then you could see um, I end up chasing it. I was up about 67 cents around 8.14. 8, um, all of a sudden, things just would not stop. It would not stop, so we just kept making money. And, uh, and like I said here, around 8.16, it's always a great adventure every morning, making money in the cyber group room. Um, still making money. I was trying to hope uh, to um, make about $2 on the trade. I owned it around, around 5.82. And I was hoping to get out at 7.80, make about the 2 bucks, But uh, it didn't, so I got out, ended up getting out about a buck fifty. And let me just scroll down right here, and you could see that was that high right there. And then I pretty much got out and, uh, you know, whatever, money's money, right? I know a lot of you guys did really well on it. And another thing I, I did mention in here, in the, in the room, let me see where I did that. Uh, okay, here we go. So right here around 8.42, TNXP making an LL, which means lower low. And YETI looks strong. We're going to look at that one, a little Fausto flag right there. But you could see that. That was right around here, and you can see we're breaking lower lows. So that stock did exactly what uh, I thought it was. Now, listen, guys, it's not about me. It's not about, like, how great I am. Listen, you guys are supposed to be here early in the morning. A lot of you were. If you weren't, that's okay. Tomorrow is always Friday morning. Um, but every every uh, most of my money and your money should be made in the pre-market. And we all know why by being in class, but it's been great. Ken made... Um, Ken just said he made a buck forty, buck oh four uh, on that trade. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. Good job. By the way, there you go. Let me just bring that over here. I always got to use my tool, but there he goes. Ken made about a buck four, oh four. Good for him. A lot of people made money. Um, I, once again, this is what it's all about, but don't worry about it. The market is going to open up. Uh, there's always new stocks that are coming in. We're going into an open, but, um, but, uh, but listen, this is the beauty about being here. Part of cyber train diversity. You learn how to play the game. You know how to get in, you know how to get out. But remember, this is not a teaching room. It's a trading room. Remember you're, you're, you're in a cycle of the courses. If you're a gold platinum diamond student, you know, we started this, this, the new cycle of courses this week. Uh, you got to be in there because we cover this stuff. We, we take recordings of it. We watch it to you, explain it to you. Remember it, it's like sports. You know, in the middle of the week, you, you watch tape all day and you play football on Sunday. And right now, this is Sunday football. But, it, but remember, it's not um, everybody wants to do it, but it's not for everyone to do. So let's keep an eye on that. But there are a lot of other stocks out there I want to talk about. Uh, but most importantly, I want to go talk about what happened yesterday because some of you um, did miss yesterday's runs. And we're going to talk about that, too. Let me just bring fix something here. Okay. So let me just talk about that, and then we'll go through the watch list, and we'll talk about the TNXP. Uh, first of all, let's see what some of you um, saw yesterday that did pretty well. Let me check my fix my time frame over here so we could see it. So anyway, that was a really nice short in the CHS, and then it had a nice little bounce. You could see that stock came dwindling down from 11 on a swing, and then you wake up one morning, and boom, you're all the way down to $4. Hey, you know what? That's... Um, that's great. Th that's great how day trading could show you how to swing trade right there. So CHS right there in the pre-market, we saw a clear as day. And then right at 930 at 540, the thing dropped all the way down to 450. Nice little um, four, uh, 70 cents profit right there for some of you did get it if you maxed out on it. My favorite was this one, the CMCM. 
that one was awesome. Um, first of all, the stock got destroyed, and it just had a nice little bounce. I saw it early in pre-market. I said, guys, check it out, and uh, got a little bit of Fausto flag right here, and boom, it went from 620 all the way to $7, another $0.80, cents, 70, 70 cents profit right there. And then you could see right around 10.15, I mean uh, 10 o'clock, really flat line, typical in the market. ACAD was also a great winner yesterday, uh, another big, big pop. It kind of got a little turned off at, at around 9.30 because it did like that nasty shake right there. And then 10 o'clock, it finally made its pop. So I know some of us got caught up in that trap a little bit. But... Um, you know, wasn't really a fan of it, but you know what? It kept breaking higher highs after about 1030. Uh, everyone should have jumped in right around 925, right around here, because kind of breaking higher highs. And we should have known that by just watching the matrix right there. So that one did pretty well. Last but not least, um, Natural Gas Fund, UNG, uh, took off in the afternoon. A lot of ETFs took off. I mean, the market had a great rally yesterday, and we all heard how it's so important to follow the economy, when you, you, know, you heard the Fed saying they're not going to probably raise rates as fast as they did because that's one of the reasons why the market took off. Listen, there's nothing if, – let me tell you something. If the Fed did not raise rates, okay, I would probably say the market might have been probably another 5,000 points higher where it is today. Okay? But now – and I know for a lot of us, we're probably disappointed on that. But on the other aspect of it is you got to understand about economics and you got to understand why they're raising rates. They got to have a cushion. They, you know, you can't give free lunches to everyone because the government needs that Fed to help the economy. Because, listen, we all saw what happened in 2000, 2008, you know. Um, and you know what? If, if uh, once you do that and you're in a recession, you end up being in a depression. You know, so you need to have that. So you got to slow down things uh, for the you got to slow. You have to slow things down and they go up too fast. And, and listen. You know, we all know this. How many times have you been here at Cyber Training University in the Cyber Group Room and we've seen stocks go up three, four, five hundred percent, okay, and end up going back down to the going back down three, four, five hundred percent. So we all know why they do it. It's the same thing about you know economics. Uh, Ken say no uh, free lunches and free Medicare and free tuition. Listen, uh, you know. <laughs> we're here talking about the stocks and I'm talking about free of you know, free money too, Ken. And, and you're right. You know, listen, you can only give out so much because you know, it, 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 what happens if you don't, if you keep giving it away, you gotta be able to use some leverage because if something bad happens, there's nothing left. To, uh, there's nothing left when you give already given it away for free. And next thing you know, they're going to be paying you money. And obviously, you know, nobody's going to do that. Um, but let's go. To, let's talk about some big things that's going on with the uh, economy, uh, economics today. Um, we all know the G20 is going to be going on, and there's going to be fireworks left and right all over the place. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. You're going to have. Um, we all know about the tariffs. We all know about the Brexit. We did great on Brexit. Remember Brexit? We did phenomenal uh, on that trade. I told you exactly how to trade it, and it did exactly what we thought it was going to do. Uh, we saw what happened with. Um, just a lot of things that are going on around the country. So I think the market's going to get pretty damn volatile on certain things uh, when news comes out. So fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, because I think Friday is going to be a pretty interesting market once news starts coming out. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go talk about what is moving this morning. Uh, the ANF, obviously, is a really nice little moving stock right now. I'm going to bring that up really quick. Uh, ANF is just popping. I told you that this one earlier this morning. Uh, a and F looks great. It was, you know, back on the watch list. Let me just bring the watch list right here. So everybody sees that. Remember the pre-market watch list, uh, was a and F TNXP and box and a and F is just doing phenomenal. There's that watch list again for you, but that thing is just doing great. Nice little push, uh, had a nice little Fausto flag. Like I told you, and you can see here on the matrix, there's lots and lots of orders out there. And we all know how to trade the matrix by following the time in sales, which kind of spills in, into the chart. Remember that you want to be a good chart reader, you better damn well know how to follow where the money is. So ANF is doing great. We got the TN uh, XP on that list. Um, I, would, I would stay away from it right now. We already made our money. Stock had a huge rally. It was up almost 100%. Now it's only, uh, it's only up 68%. Wow. Woohoo. But uh, but still, it's uh, let's let's hold that, put that on hold. Box, you know, it, it took a little bit of a hit right here, 
Uh, we traded it. You know, this company just, um, you know, had a really, really nice uh, little push after hours yesterday. She's kind of holding here. She's not up a lot. I don't know. I mean, I was trying to add to my list, and I don't know. I'm probably not really sold on that. It's going to probably scratch that out. And the last one, um, the Y-E-T-I. This is the other one I told you. Uh, a lot of you did pretty well. Steve said he's up 26 cents from $21. All right, let's give, let's give Steve uh, Let's give Steve D a l- nice little round of applause. Guess he was listening. All right. And St- so it looks like uh, so anyway, that that we saw it earlier. We saw it, we, we, you know, it was on the watch list. So, you know what? Three out of four ain't bad in pre-market, right? I'll tell you, this is probably a very impressive. It's probably the best pre-market all week. Now, we had some really good winners, but so far, um, this probably is been the overall best out of the pre-market. So everyone had a chance to get a little something there. And remember, guys, if you feel like you're chasing, just buy less shares. And then always remember what I always say, one share. That's all you got to do, one share. You don't trade, you're never going to learn. You trade on demo, you're never going to learn, okay? You got to put money in the game to, uh, to know what it's like to, you know, to learn. Remember, if you're afraid to lose, you're in the wrong business. All right, uh, Ben, he's up, uh, Ben's up uh, 41 cents from 21. Looks like everyone got it at 21. All right. Good for you. All right, everybody. So um, listen, if you missed out or any of the pre-market, don't worry. The market's going to be opening up. So we always have a new list of stocks. As of right now, I'm pretty impressed with this YETI being awfully strong going into this open. So uh, listen, you, you got till 4 o'clock till the market closes. Lock it happen. And we always find new stocks that show up on the list. Well, let's go out there and uh, fellow traders, cyber traders, see something, say something. And if you're new to CTU, just sit back and watch, look, listen, and learn. And you will uh, look, look, listen, and and uh, and learn. And you will earn. That's what we always say here at Cyber Trade University. So, uh, but just keep in mind, everybody, uh, if you're new to CTU, the reason why we have you here is because we know you want to do this, but. Sometimes it's not for everybody, and you know what? That's okay. Uh, but the only way you're gonna, but the only way you're gonna learn is uh, just watch and see if other people make money. So don't look at me, okay? Look at everybody else, all right, and see how they do. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, see you back. Uh, we'll see you in class. It's gonna be starting later on this uh, this morning, and we'll be back at two thirty for the afternoon uh, trading the close. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.